Welcome back. The Ministry of Health continues to receive support towards its COVID-19 vaccination campaign. Fanel Neptune tells us more. The Ministry of Health recently received a donation of 90,000 EC dollars from CIBC First Caribbean Bank aimed at enhancing the COVID-19 vaccination campaign in St. Lucia. Country head of CIBC First Caribbean Bank, Nigel Oliver, says his organization remains committed to continue partnering with the Ministry of Health to help fight the COVID-19 pandemic. We're really looking forward to you know, being able to use that 90,000 EC dollars to, to continue with the program. Uh, you, you have been doing good works and we want to applaud you uh, with respect to getting the vaccination um, program out and you know, getting people sensitized and aware and, and hopefully that I can encourage some more um, that, you know, persons to take the vaccine and to understand that this is, this is really probably one of the main ways out of this pandemic, um, you know, both for the, the wellness of the nation, the, the recovery of the economy. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George says she is very thankful for the support that CIBC First Caribbean Bank continues to provide towards St. Lucia's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Vaccines have been the most effective and efficient public health measure in managing um, infectious diseases. So this is what is really going to assist us in getting between 70 to 90 percent of our country covered and getting back to some level of normalcy. So on behalf of the Ministry of Health, the government, the people of St. Lucia, we are extremely grateful for this collaboration, this donation, to, and it is towards health, it is towards life. So we appreciate it and it is going to be used to strengthen our immunization program um, as we move forward to keeping our people healthy and reducing the impact of COVID-19 on our communities. National Immunization Manager Tekla Jabatis expressed heartfelt gratitude for the generous donation and believes it will aid in getting more people vaccinated. This donation, of course, um, will allow us to procure vaccines to vaccinate about 4,000 persons in our general population. And indeed, we are grateful for this. As I always say, we are all in this together. Let us vaccinate for ourselves, for our loved ones, and for all of us. The Ministry of Health encourages people to get vaccinated to protect themselves and others from the COVID-19 virus. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Penel Neptune. The Agriculture Ministry has moved one step further on its mission to restructure the agri-food sector, this time making good on its promise to revamp the St. Lucia Marketing Board. After five decades, agriculture leaders are now shifting gears to align the retail department of the entity with international standards. The vision, according to Senior Representative of the St. Lucia Marketing Board, Teresa Daisy, is to reopen the doors of the St. Lucia Marketing Board in a facility that exceeds the growing demands of its consumer base and that of the agri-food sector as a whole. In the meantime, the temporary relocation of the establishment to the former home of the Central Market Bakery has taken effect. That move will allow for the continued service to the public while working on the next phase of the entity's life. After 54 years in operation, the structural integrity of the building has become weak, outdated, and as such, it has become necessary to demolish this building and to construct a new entity that is sound, conducive for shopping, and with the right ambience for the 21st century. It is important to state that this is where the retail outlet carries out its function and it normally attracts a large number of customers daily. Because of the significant role this department carries, it has become necessary for the St. Lucia Marketing Board to temporarily relocate the retail function in preparation for the demolition of this building on Jabati Street. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Agriculture, Barrymore Felicia, holds high expectations for the agri-food sector, saying that the marketing board plays a pivotal supporting role in linking local farmers to consumers 
an active illustration of the Agriculture Ministry's slogan, Eat Fresh, St. Lucia's Best. The marketing board still has a dominant or prominent role to play in the agricultural sector today. What we want to see is a marketing board that, that comes back into its dominance, that features highly when it comes to distribution, purchasing, marketing, sales, packaging and export of agricultural produce. That is what we want to see. Established in November of 1967 by an Act of Parliament, the Sinusha Marketing Board has been serving the agriculture economy by fulfilling its mandate to stimulate, facilitate and improve the production, marketing and processing of fresh agricultural produce and by securing the most favorable arrangements for the purchasing and resale, handling, transportation and exportation of the island's agricultural produce, both locally and internationally. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Amanda Faye Clark reporting. The water supply of residents in the north of the island will be disrupted due to scheduled maintenance come Thursday the 15th of April. West Coast Communications and Marketing Manager Sherry Ann Gillard Williams says the maintenance works are necessary to help prevent a major disruption in water supply in the future. Residents from Castries South to Cap Estate will be affected. That shutdown is necessary in order to facilitate um, repair or maintenance works on the distribution line. Um, I know that a lot of customers will recall the level of inconvenience that was experienced last year around um, Valentine's Day where we had a series of breaks on the both the distribution system and the raw water system that of course um, happened unexpectedly and we were forced to shut down the water system customers from the south of Castries up until Cap Estate were affected by this situation in order for us to prevent a recurrence of this it is necessary for us to conduct maintenance works periodically on both systems, both the distribution and the raw water system, so that we can prevent any sudden um, impact on, on customers. The communications and marketing officer says these works also form part of the company's thrust to reduce non-revenue water. With an aging infrastructure, of course, you have several leaks on the system, um, and these leaks can amount to millions of dollars in losses for wasco especially when it comes to the treated water so in order to address the situation we are conducting our routine maintenance on the, the the water line and because of those works residents from the south of castries up until cap estate the, the further north of the island will be affected Ahead of the scheduled works, Wasco is encouraging consumers to secure an adequate supply of water so that minimal inconvenience occurs. Water supply will be restored once the works are completed. Consumers at higher elevation as well as those furthest from the system will experience delays in their return of water. This is the Hot 7 TV Nightly News when we return the latest weather forecast. <laughs>